So I think when they lock in Soraka here, they just they really just want to win lane super super hard, and they don't really care if Nocturne comes and tries to kill them. But I see like later in the game it's going to be difficult because I don't think Soraka offers anything against Nocturne Syndra. I don't think she really offers protection, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that backline from G two is going melt. to die yeah. very very exactly. quickly. It's and a there ooh, and there's a zig zag all on top of it. We saw it already from a rocket, I believe, earlier. Can be absolutely destructive with the zigs in the mix. What do you think of Splice's comp up versus G two? I would like to change my prediction to Splice. I currently have it on G two esports. I know I can't do it with the Twitter. You know ones, who voted but... Splice to win? This girl. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I, I think like. I really think this gold, uh, gold final strategy is very, very difficult to execute, and I feel like Splice have so many ways not only to to try and punish the backline, but also when they get the advantage to go towards a Baron. If G2 wants to try and stop them and Orn ult into a Nocturne ult engage, like but doesn't want to really win the rest of the fight. Is that matchup that you kind of expect to play out as is for the time being? So uh, typically when you look at Aatrox, his early game is not the strongest. Uh, he usually wants to complete the Tiamat. Once he has wave clear, that's when things get a lot better. Good by Wonder! But at what cost? Tower shots come down. Oda Wonder is now running for his life. Flashes over the wall and it's secured by Perks. Ooh. The worst possible opponent. Trading red buff for a red dragon. I think that's probably fair. Look at top lane now, though. All right, Killer Instinct is going to get fired. There we go. Here comes Perks. Not going to be able to kill just yet. But Yanka sends it home with a bite from Winter. Goal differential is what you got to consider, which we might not have time for as we see a play in the top side. Uh, we will not. Odawanda is going to get caught by that Dark Flight. Bleeds of Torment thrown down. And there comes the Mega Inferno Bomb, but the Blood Wall passive is available for Wonder. He's going to get procced, and he's going to regen. Kasing. We'll look for the engage, and we need to see for the plasma to connect. There's one tag. Gonna come down in a moment or two. There is Perks running in with the supercharge, jumps in with the killer instinct. It's you can see that coming minutes away, yeah. so it's very difficult to hype it up. Yeah. Firing that one down, not enough Flank to TV. take out here the we tower. Go. But here comes Orn. The horn is loud, loud, and not. Away, G2 Esports, Coastorm comes down and spliced as they call core coin. They've locked themselves Xerxes, but a three-man stun from Scout of the Week. Yankos is doing what he can with that unbreakable, but Niski with a flash forward closes it out. Ends up being a one for two in favor of Splat. The Stinger, the Phage, use that dark fight to try to jump away to safety. Flashes away from Core of the Forge God. That's decent. He's legitimately winning this fight with the Rage Blade and the Titanic. Looking to chase down. Now the teleport will complete. Yes, Yannan coming in for support. Yannan's got flash available to him, but the rest of G2 Esports are now pushing up. Here goes the Brawl Multi just to shut down this. Oh Perks takes legitimately no damage. Dark Wind bounces back and forth as here comes the Crow Storm. There is the heal coming out from what did Soraka. Gonna trade one for one. Wonder for Oduwamne. Double kill for Perks and 30 minutes is about to click over. 428 CS for now. All of the four shot comes up. Look at the damage into Niski already. That's decent. A couple of golden members on the side of G2, but there's nobody dead. There's not enough damage. There's not enough follow-up. Perks jumps in with the killer instinct, and he's already got one with the help of Wonder. That's a double kill for Wonder's Aatrox in the top lane. But it goes back to what we were talking about uh, earlier on. Ooh, hang on, we don't have time. Another fight. We do not. Splice have all of a sudden found opportunities to fight. Tower falls, and Hippet is going to go there after, and Splice, they just can't get past. There's so much range and zone control between the towers, the grenades, the turrets, the Soraka. It's not done yet, and there's the teleport, Benius. G2 have the Nexus in their eyes. All five members are grouped up. They still have the Baron buff available, and they want to do this tutorial-style Splice. Ultis are coming up. Here comes the engage. All right, Call of the Forge God comes out. Look at this. Xerxes able to shut down what did, but it is at the cost of his own life. Now Wonder turns it back around. Flashing forward. Got the Blood Well passive to bring him back to life. Perks goes forward before he's scattered by the weak, but there's simply not enough damage. It was me. A quadra kill for Perks to close out the game, to close out the week. And G2 Esports are destroying the Nexus, destroying Splice. And G2 go undefeated in week one.